Hello everyone, welcome to Oracle HCM Cloud. Let's have a look at how to configure payroll legislations. Let's click on uh, username, setup and maintenance, task area, implementation project, choose your project. So let's search for the task called configure payroll legislations. Search. Launch the task. Right up. So just have a look at this list of legislation for different countries. And uh, if you can't find the country you're working on in this list, that means uh, nobody has not defined a legislation for that particular country. In that instance, you can create one. Um, some of the legislation has been predefined by Oracle itself, for instance, Australia, Canada. It's all been uh, uh, predefined and uh, you won't be able to edit it or anything. The other ones, uh, which use the defined ones, you can uh, edit it. And if any of these has been implemented, then you will see a green tick. For instance, Latvia, um, it's not predefined, but someone uh, created it but it's not being implemented in any project. So once it's implemented, you will you will find a green tick there. So let's go and uh, create one for, let's say, Angola. You will get a warning from uh, Oracle. So if you're making uh, this in a production instance, you need to get an approval from Oracle. So let's go with uh, Angola, click on continue. So let's start with the legislative rules. The very first one is the tax year start date. So you can pick the uh, start tax year start date. So let's say starts on the 6th of April. Default currency has been uh, pre later. Otherwise, you could always uh, pick from the LOE. The next one is a uh, payroll relationship rule. So when, when you rehire, when the company rehire a employee, how do, you, how do you want to go with the record? Do you want to create a new record or do you want to use the last record or if it's a international company which which record you want to pick so you got three options new record last record or use lifetime record so that's with that one and then comes the payroll relationship type mapping uh, most of the time you could just leave it as a default or if you want to change any of these for instance if you want to uh, process payroll for a non-worker, you can pick uh, and put it as standard. So you will get the green tick mark for process uh, in payroll. Okay, it might take a while to populate that one. So yeah, there we are and uh, click on next. So the next one is element classifications. Elements are salary components whether it's an earning or a deduction. So you can choose uh, the elements which you need on the, uh, the newly created uh, legislation, payroll legislation. So let's choose absence, employee tax credits, employer taxes, social insurance deductions. So let's choose few and then click on next. The next one will be payment types. So it depends how, how the company wants to pay the employee, whether it's by a check or cash or electronic fund transfer. So you can uh, pick the ones you need and uh, click on next. The final set is the component groups. So just to, to group the, the elements we got. So all the benefit elements can be group to one uh, one group it's called benefits and all the absence related ones can be grouped to another one called absences so that's what this uh, deals with so let's click on next so the next one is balance dimensions a period of time is what is called dimension in Oracle uh, for instance if the company wants to know what's the salary paid for an employee since he joined the company so that period of time, it's an element. And uh, if they want to know about 
what how many absences the employee had for for the last quarter or for for this last year then uh, they could they could find it out so these are the different uh, dimensions uh, predefined dimensions in oracle so you can uh, pick um, depending on your company's uh, requirement so it's assignment based and uh, then you will find terms based relationship based you will find uh, quite a few on it yeah, so let's choose view and click on next so this is the review page so you can review whatever uh, configuration you have made and click on submit so that's it so that's how we configure uh, payroll legislations for a country hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching